So your interpretation of the short inversion that we saw uh, on Friday and then where we are now. Look, I, I, I'm hesitant to comment too much because it's only been a couple of days that we have been inverted. And I will issue those famous words, this time it is different, because I do believe that this time it is different. You have a, a situation where the Fed is looking to unwind what is arguably the greatest monetary policy experiment ever. They've pushed interest rates up higher to 2.5%. Naturally, you've had a lot of issuance in the longer end as well. There's a lot of challenges with respect to growth, with respect to inflation, not only for the U.S., but also globally. And I think that's caused that's caused yield curve to be flat around the world and in this case cause them to invert for a short period of time. Well, I think that's a really good point here, um, Nick, because I do wonder, I've been listening to various coverage of the inversion of the yield curve and everyone's saying, you know, maybe we're, we're getting a little bit too much overreaction here. What in your mind should investors be focusing on instead? Look, I think the biggest question marks around there are global growth. You have a situation in Europe where the situation is just completely untenable. The political situation is very challenging. You have political leadership challenges in Germany, Italy, France, the UK, Greece, etc. It just cascades down from there. You throw in the fact that, like last week, we saw the PMIs out of the region come out and they were absolutely terrible. It sent the markets in a spiral, sent yields really crashing down. Uh, this is a situation that we think the, the ECB really needs to take measure. They're likely going to have to reintroduce stimulus at some point in time. Then you, then you look at across the globe, you look at the U.S., and the situation is not as bad. The Fed has backed off future rate hikes. Again, the inflation target hasn't been met. The Fed is likely to, in our view, cut interest rates at some point in 2020 and you know, sort of maintain this sort of status quo, this cruising altitude where they can look to sort of re-engineer and make sure that growth can continue for the coming years.